Hello everyone, so I recently just updated to Altium Designer 15.1.8 which is the latest version and as you can see here that I have a example PCB document over here which has some 3D models and one of the nicest feature that one of the really nice feature that I like in Altium Designer 15.1 is the ability for you to export PDF in 3D mode this is also not only available in the export, but you can also view it in your output job document as well, whereby you can add PDF 3D now as an export output. Okay, so if I were to do that, you see that if I were to change or configure my export PDF 3D, I'm able to export selected only um, parts, right? I can also include cores, my solder, my silk screen, my copper, my text, my 3D body, my meshes, I can also auto activate my PDF settings, my toolbar, my navigation, I can change the view that I want as well, and I can also change my default light that I'll be using for my um, for my PDF navigation. I can also change the color of my background as well for the PDF. All of these can definitely be changed later on in the PDF 3D as well, but this gives you a very good initial standpoint so that whenever you open that PDF, you have, if you have not saved it, it will always toggle all of these view modes initially. So let me just click on OK and uh, output a container, right? make it point to a particular PDF. So let me just put it in a folder, click on generate content, Right, it will then um, take out all the objects and, and make it into 3D so that we can view it in our 3D PDF in Adobe Reader. So if I were to do that, let me just explore my this current project. And if I go into project output, similar to any output job document, it will put it in my PDF 3D folder. And I am able to now open up this Adobe document up. If I were to open it up, you'll be able to see that I can simply just do a regular rotation. Not only that, I can also flip it between my default view, my top view, my bottom view, my left, and so on and so forth. If I were to change it to my default view, you see that I have the model tree here as well, whereby I can highlight any one of my uh, U1 component, my FPGA component for particular primitives. I can also change my highlight color as well. For example, if this does not strike as much as a green, I can change it to a green highlight as well. And if I were to highlight on any one of these components, you'll see that it automatically highlights that on my PCB document. Obviously, we're used to seeing a jump to command, so we certainly do have that in the Adobe PDF as well, whereby we can simply do a right click and we can do either do a zoom to part, isolate part, right? Do a change the part random mode from default to transparent to illustration, wireframe, so on and so forth as well. I can also, let me just try to zoom to part and you can see that it automatically jumps to this particular part. If I were to do maybe an isolate part, you see that it, it automatically isolates that part and everything else would be uh, invisible, right? So let me just uh, bring everything back to life again. And uh, let me change that to my top view so that I don't uh, kind of make you guys uh, wonder what I'm doing. So I'm just going to see that in my nets, I have the ability to also uh, change between my nets as well, right? I can do, um, I can uncheck or check my nets to show or not to show. If I were to disable my components and maybe disable my silk screen and my board, I will be able to see my nets highlighted, right? So if I were to say, maybe I only want to show uh, my ground net, sure. So if I were to check on my ground net, you see that only my ground nets will show. If I want to show all my components alongside my ground net, I'm able to do that as well. Okay, if I were to check on maybe my 5 volts layer, see where it is, and you'll see that now the 5 volts traces as well as all these polygon pores will be activated as well. Right? So say if I would like to enable every net, Check on every net and you'll see that all the nets will then be enabled as well. So you can also toggle your silk screen on and off as well, as well as your board uh, solder masks too. For solder mask, you can change whether you want your solder top visibility, your core, which is the dielectric, or maybe just make everything invisible. All right, you have the ability to change that too. 
say if I were to enable everything, you see that you have different, uh, you have your, your navigation here whereby you can also switch it to enable cross-section view as well. If you are to click on show cross-section view, it makes more sense for me to flip it to my default view. You see that right now, it does not have any much insight. However, you have now the ability to change your offset of your cross-section as well. You can change your offset, you can change how much it cuts from your left to the right as well as to the to the uh, to the x y as well right so you have the ability to change uh, the cut in x y z uh, in x y z axis right not only that you can also uh, toggle certain things like show transparency you can also flip it which side you would like to cut as well and so on right if you have to flip it Maybe I don't want to show transparent. I can see which one is left. I can now do a toggle or a rotate as well as a panning. Okay. So if I want to just escape my cross section view, all I simply do, do is just close this window and do an uncheck over here. And you'll see that I'm back to my normal mode. I can also, like similar to other mechanical software, I can also change my view mode from default, top, bottom, or left as well. Um, not only that, I can also change between modes, like right now I'm in my rotation mode, I can change it to my spin mode, pan mode, zoom, walk or fly. If I would like to change my camera, I can also do that as well, like camera for example right now, I can change the way it looks, right, I can probably flip it, my camera around, I can change my target as well, how my XYZ of my target as well as my camera location using this camera properties. Not only that, I can also save this camera view as a preset and then I can load it whenever I want to also. This is a really neat feature as well. So let me just flip it back to my default view. There's one more thing I would like to show which is this 3D measurement tool, right? So if I were to, if I would like to change maybe or detect how, how large is this board or maybe how large is this particular entity here, all I simply gotta do is just Go on my 3D measurement, measure these distance, and you see that it automatically populates it with, let me just change to default view, make sure my, that my measurement is enabled. You see that it automatically populates it with this measurement, right? And I'm able to see that, hey, this is right now 14173224.9 model units, right? So as all of us know, let me just change it to my top view so that I can see my measurement better. Right. So as as all of us know already that this model units for for us PCB for us PCB designers as well as engineers, we all know that the model units that we usually refer to is in mils. So this essentially means that it is right now a 1417.3 sorry, 1417, 3 mils, right? So in order to confirm that, we go to Altium Designer and go to our PCB document, whereby we also have the ability to do measure as well by going to reports, measure distance, and let's just do a rough measurement and you see that this is 1413.3 mils. So that means that our PDF is correct, right? Because it, it has that, uh, it has that, that snap feature, right? So it's essentially 1417.3224 mils, right? So the measurement is working just fine. And as you can see here, I can also change my viewing, right? I can change it from solid to wireframe, which is a little bit hard to see. You can also change it to solid outline as well. You can change it to bounding box. Right? It all depends on how much how much details you want to see or essentially how much memory your graphics card has. Right? You can also enable or disable your project perspective as well, right? And so on and so forth. So try out this 3D PDF. Uh, it will definitely improve the way you view uh, PDF, right? You no longer need Altium Designer to actually view PDF uh, to, to view models in 3D, all you gotta do is just export it into uh, 3D PDF, then use Adobe Reader to actually open it up. 
Alright, thank you so much, and hopefully you'll like the new update of Altium Designer 15.1.